Well, Simon, we'll start with Tuesday night. Another goalless draw this time away at Maidenhead. Do you feel like that was a, a fair result on reflection? Yeah, I think um, you know on reflection, it probably we we can have no complaint to the result. I thought we had lots of really good possession to a point, um, but ultimately in the last third of the pitch, we we perhaps weren't clinical as we what we'd want to be. So um, you know we were pleased with a clean sheet, but there were certainly aspects which could be you know better in the last third of the pitch. So yeah, no complaint to the result, and um, you know we took the positives and we look at what what needs to be better and, and move on. Just looking at your team selection that day, you made three changes to the side that took on Aldershot on Saturday. One of them was Will Collar, who you played on, on the right-hand side of an attacking three. I thought he did pretty well out there in the first half particularly. How do you feel he did and, and what was the thinking behind that? Yeah, well, obviously, we're in, um, we, we were missing some players going into the match, um, you know, key players and key positions. So we had to sort of open up our thinking a little bit to, to give us the right balance on the night. And, and Will came in. You know, not a position that is is you know he would be unfamiliar with. Um, but obviously, not his his priority position from his point of view. So we just felt it would, you know, offer us a chance of establishing good possession in the middle of the pitch, and you know, hope that we could take advantage of, you know, some one v ones and two v ones in wide areas. Um, and, and we arrived in them areas, you know, on occasions very well, um, and, and we just didn't quite, you know, turn the screw enough on the night and, and work their goalkeeper enough. So, you know, that was, that was the thinking behind bringing Will into the team. And as you rightly point out, I thought he showed some really positive aspects of play. When you try to look at positives to take from Tuesday night, I suppose one of them is that's three clean sheets in a row now. That's the first time County have managed that in over two years. So it's really solid foundations to build on going forward. Yeah, that's right. And, um, you know, it is always important to, to draw on the, the, the positives in all games. And I think you're, really, um, you're right to point out the three clean sheets. And we're, we're, we're pleased with that. But also, you know, it's not just going to be that which defines us you know we also have to you know find a way to score goals obviously the the, the Woking game we scored four magnificent goals um, on the day and probably could have scored more I felt the um, you know the Yeovil, Yeovil game we've created a lot um, and also the older shot game we've created a lot so you know probably in the maiden egg game we didn't quite create as much clear-cut chances as the previous games but you know you're right to point out that in in any performance you want that clean sheet and with the quality in the group if we maintain that level of performance in terms of clean sheets you know I have no doubt we're going to go on to trouble opponents and score goals. How confident are you that the goals are going to start flowing again soon is it just a case of small tweaks to the side or adapting to a, a new yeah, style Yeah I think or? you know we have to acknowledge our opponent um, you know very respectful about what we're doing and you know they're, they're desperate to stop us clearly you know people are analysing what we have in our group they're analysing the type of goals and chances that we can create and they're trying to offer, as you would expect, you know, resolute opposition. So we have to step up to that. You know, we have to find a way to not panic in games and, and respect that, you know, we're going to have to probe, we're going to have to find ways and we're going to have to also do in that, you know, to continue and defend well. So, um, no, it's not a concern for me, but it's obviously something that we're acknowledging in the last couple of games as a group. You know, that it's an area of the pitch that we need to improve on and ultimately that is what will take us on to, to getting three points. And you know, hopefully getting that first goal in games opens opens the opponent up for us. Just looking ahead to Saturday now, pr probably as a result of the, the fixture build-up over the last few weeks as much as anything, we've started picking up a few few knocks and niggles in the last couple mm. of games. What's the squad looking like going into Saturday? Yeah, we're, we're, in, a good, we're in a good mindset. You know, the, the mentality of the group's been really good. You know, the really positive training sessions. You know, we're trying to bring our tweaks in and we, and we have done from the word go. Um, and, and the lads have been really, you know, the buy-in's been excellent. So, but you're right to point out we've lost some key players in the last couple of weeks and, you know, that does have an impact. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, equally as well, we've got a good, good squad. And we can draw upon that. And, and the players that come into that starting team have, you know, they've got to bring their game and their strengths and bring it to the table. Um, so we can look forward to that as well. So, unfortunately, in football... You know, a difficult situation always presents a positive situation for someone else in terms of opportunity. So, you know, and, and hopefully that the players that can come in, they can maintain that level of performance and, and offer a, a threat in the team that, you know, can help us get three points. It's a bit of a, a step into the unknown for County on Saturday. It's the first ever time we've visited Eastleigh in, in any competition. They're obviously coming into the game in really good form. I think they're un, unbeaten in six games. It's another big challenge for the team, isn't it? Yeah, every game's a challenge. Every single one is a big challenge. And, um, you know, it's, it's one we've got to be ready for. So, you know, we'll do what we, we always set out to do to prepare as well as we can. You know, 
try and establish, you know, what what our threats, you know, on the day can be, and then try and bring them into the game and see where it takes us. So yeah, a big challenge, but listen, we are absolutely looking forward to it. Um, and we've got a really solid platform with the clean sheets you talk about to take into that match and hopefully on the day we can, you know, can really really go on and threaten their goal. When you look at the last two games, I think we've seen at full time just how happy Aldershot and Maidenhead were with, with getting a point from that game. Uh, are you expecting maybe a, a bit more of an open game on Saturday? Um, possibly, you know, possibly. Uh, listen, we, you're right to point out we are going to a team in good form. But, you know, we're, we're not on a bad run ourselves in terms of, you know, we've had the Sutton game was a bit of a, you know, the, the result in the end was, you know, a reflection of the circumstances that took place on the night. But, you know, the, the Oval, a really good win. We stopped a team with good momentum and we beat them. You know, the Woking performance was outstanding. And, and, you know, the solidity in the last two games has been pleasing. So whether that, whether they, whether that makes the game more open or more closed on the day, we'll have to wait and see. But certainly, you know, we're, we're fully aware that we'll have to find a way. And just finally, Saturday's obviously the start of a, a big big week in the season, really, when you look beyond that. We've got Notts County on Tuesday, Chesterfield the Saturday after. Really tough games. I mean, have you, do you have any targets for these games just in terms of points, but also performance? Um, listen, I have pointed out before, and I'll always say it, that the next game is always the biggest one of your career. And really, you can only, when these fixtures come so thick and so fast, you know, you can only, you can only prepare as best as you can for the next game. You know, the next game is the biggest one. It's the one we've got to go and win. And then you have to deal with the fallout after that. So, of course, we have to balance that out and we have to analyse, you know, how the players are coping physically. You know, heavy pitches, um, the time of year where you do start to pick up some niggles and strains. So we have to manage that and we have to be conscious of that, of course. But, you know, I'm fully confident any team we put on the pitch, you know, that we can, we can tackle the game on its merits and, and go on to win. And that's certainly what we'll be trying to do on Saturday. Simon, all the best. Thank you.